Welcome ladies and gentlemen for another high level match of Warcraft 3 here taking place at Northern Isles between none other but probably the best young young player in the world coming out of the new generation that is Kaho down in the bottom left as the Night Elf was already creeping the little green camp going for a Demon Hunter versus maybe we can now finally start to make the claims that this is the current number one player in the world after winning tp league back to back and ted cup back to back as well by completely destroying happy Ooh, i wouldn't say destroying ted cup 15 final was close he went all the way to seven but i the chinese necromancer one to zero who is doing the goo opening with a death knight and moving from the top green camp on to the next green murloc here. Kaho is here with a demon level 2 though to interrupt. We got mantle and ring plus 4. Man oh man. Is it fun being back again after taking a short break. And um, actually I want to say thank you here to all the people that actually sent me some supporting messages. Uni can be very stressful. Uni life, guys. Um, I'm not in my 20s anymore. I literally started my 30s. Uh, so I'm not there for fun, right? I know a lot of people when they enter uni in their 20s, they're like, oh yeah, we're going to have a ton of fun here. Uh, te te. No, that is not my purpose of going there. My purpose is literally I want to learn a skill. And I want to enter the gaming industry and make a career out of it. Um, so yeah, I'm taking it very, very seriously. Anyway, back on the game. 1-0, to zero. I like the pressure here from him. Oh, we're going for a tower rush. And I should have guessed that by just uh, looking earlier at how many sacrificial skulls he had on the DK. And now the Acolytes are here, building two Ziggurats. Nice splits with the Ghouls, chasing the Archer. Now we got the Huntress here for 1-0. to zero. He's going to slow down the tech for sure. Demon Hunter, how much more he can hold those Moonwells, man. Such a powerful uh, weapon in the arsenal of the Nitos. Second Huntress coming out. Kaho, nice respawn here. Going for Huntresses. Plus an AP at the back. To counter those ziggurats but he's forced to run away with the demon hunter you're drinking a little bit more of them uh moon juices there's the first nerubian tower is coming on the way and uh, now remember guys the end goal of uh under tower rush is not to actually i mean if you can find a lot of kills including a hero kill then well done to you. But the main goal of the Tower Rush when it's done by Undead players is literally to make as much damage as uh, possible. Whether that being economical, whether that being lots of buildings falling down, everything is welcome. Um, now, if this doesn't succeed for 1-0, to zero, he's going to find himself in a huge trouble. For the pure fact that he has committed so much into this tower rush, he's taking up as well. Graveyard on the way. It's hard to really check on what they're both doing. As this tower rush continues and they both heroes are kind of not really in fighting condition. The AP has moved forward targeting the Rubian tower. And I think Kaho is doing brilliantly here defending this also more than halfway through to tech here too this acolyte was used to unsummon the buildings and we can safely assume that was not really successful for one to zero who's going into tier three now straight away not wasting his time at all that was the was it a ring there and the other sacrificial skull that he had and buys a circlet. Ooh, and now Kaho is going to come with a counter pressure here. 
One to zero still has his ghouls though. He pulled them out deliberately. I guess he saw that this wasn't working. Slaughterhouse on the way. Lich second on the way. Here two almost finishes for Kaho. He's on the east side looking for the orange camp. And he's going for it. But one to zero is coming back again. He's going to contest this. And make Kaho's life miserable for as long as possible. Tier 2 is finished for Kaho. Still don't see a second hero. Okay, Naga from the tavern for Kaho it is. And the Lich is now here as well. Takes on the item. Scroll of the Beast. And... We're gonna have now... More Frost Nova on the Demon. Oh, he almost died from the creep as well. After that Frost Nova and that Demon Hunter will be benched for now out of the fight. But Lich is also out of mana, so I guess Kaho can take this. You probably like, okay. Um, You didn't kill my Demon Hunter, I took your Lich out of mana. That's a kind of fair trade. Despite the fact that, of course, 1 to 0 took the Ogre Lord, the Ogre Mage, and the item. So that was the big win for him there. Now I have to say that Kaho here, he had a chance of taking an advantage of this situation earlier. In which 1 to 0 committed so much, who's already transitioning into fiends and statues. And that's a scary sight to find yourself against undead. We're going for double law for Kaho, so bears and dryads would be the answer for him. Destro upgrade after this next statue as well. Ghoul Frenzy. Nice. Tier 3 is done. Let's see what's going to be the choice for 1 to 0. Is it going to be Naga? Is it going to be a Dark Ranger? Orb of Corruption is already on the Lich. Nice. We got Gloves of Haste as well. Which increases the attack speed of the hero. That's always welcome on this fella. Who I guess feels at home here in Northern Isles. He loves you. Make you feel the winter's coming. And on this map particularly. The winter never leaves. And there it is. Naga 4 1 to 0. I guess to counter Kaho's Naga. Makes sense. Kaho's on the west now. Taking on this orange camp. While 1 to 0 is do dealing with the merchant here. Lovely Sobby Mask on the lit On the DK. He couldn't ask for more. More fiends, more destroyers. No upgrades yet on either side. We have bears now. And dryads have started arriving as well. For 1 to 0. Who just saw the scroll of the beast. And buy stuff for preservation. And a moonstone. And it turns day into night. Manto has been given to the naga. Plus boots of speed. Naga's level 2 of course. Tier three, tier 3 is almost ready. I wonder if Kaku is going to go for a third hero. Or is he going to stay on the double hero combo? Pro of the Beast. Uh, no, that's Raw from the Bears. Forgive me. Fort Lightning from the Naga. And uh, Kaho is taking care of the natural here for him. Stuff of preservation has been used. And Demon is taken back to the main base. But 1-0 to zero is arriving. He's got his ghouls, he's got a destroyer in the air, he's got a statue, fiends are here as well. More statues arriving, and we are about to face probably the first big battle of the game. Not really, oh, this fiend will be picked up to pieces, I guess, by Kaho. Not really. I guess not there on time. Okay, 1 to 0, wants to go for the Goblin Laboratory. Kaho is behind him as well, so it's gonna make him tippy toe here. Ooh, Frost Nova Coil, hold on. Frost Arrows onto the Lich, Destroyer as well, targeting him. Uh, not really working so far. Another Frost. Ooh, he needs to be careful. There's another Frost Nova on that Lich now. Who's getting closer to level 3 as we speak. 55 versus uh, 54 food supply, so it's kind of equal. Now 1 to 0 is finding the... Oh, another coil! 
And this demon is now playing literally with his fate. Rejuvenation is coming though. So now the demon is killed all the way. And now the undead heroes are out of mana. Which is always welcome for the opponent. But 1-0 to zero with this insane damage that the und undead army possess. Of course he's picking up units one by one. Killing huntresses, killing bears. More bears are falling down. Of course, the Fort Lightning now. Dealt big damage on the ghouls there. Now the DK is in trouble. There's no TP. He's 1 to 0 losing the DK. Yes, that's the first blood of the game. What a play here by Kaho. He lost a lot of units. But he took out the main supporter of the undead army and without a dk without the coils one to zero will feel a little bit uncertain he buys it from the tavern of course Kaho's gonna use this window of opportunity going for the red gold mine up in the northwest And he sticks to double hero combo, by the way. No third hero for Kaho. If there was one, we would have seen it by now. Uh, so he's going to bet on a demon naga combo. Huntress Hall survived earlier as well, by the way. Naga level 3 now. Demon Hunter picks up Helm of Vala here. He got over Venom on him. And Ring of Regeneration, which is always welcome. Home of Agility, again picked up by the Demon. Nice frost over there from the Lich. And that Huntress falls down. Another Huntress falls down. Now 1 to 0 Naga is level 3 as well. That was nice coil on time for the Lich who is in trouble. Taking a lot of damage there up front. Oh, the Demon Hunter now needs to watch it. Another mana burn on the DK though. He's out of mana. Another demon got stuffed out of the fight. He was in no shape for fighting at all. But the fight here continues. The big fight continues. Demon is back again. Fully, fully, fully rejuvenated. Full mana, full health. Kaho's targeting the DK again. Trying to kill him. Invo potion consumed by the Naga for 1-0. to zero. Nicely done. And the damage is so insane in this undead army. Look at the de demon hunter again. Getting lower and lower in health. Oh my goodness. And he's forced to be stuffed again. 1-0 to zero is winning this fight. No doubt. Takes on the archer now. And that archer falls down. We got armor. At 1 for Kaho. Which is nice for the bears and the dryads. <coughs> Beg my pardon. And the fight continues. Ring plus 5 on the DK. He's got Invo Potion. 1 to 0 needs to recover the mana though on these heroes. Oh! Close plus 8. Now, I wonder if that's a bug or if I remember the new patch nerfed down the close of attack. So instead of plus 5, we have plus 4. And plus 9, we have plus 8. Or maybe Blizzard forget to change the numbers here on the icon of the item. Or maybe it's not Blizzard. From what I know, this um, actually, when I used to play back as a teenager, I don't think we had the numbers on the icons of the item. We only had the item icon, so I guess this might have been added by the... W3 champions team. So I guess they forgot to change that. Anyway, Demon Hunter's in trouble again. This time the Naga also. And I think Kaho made a mistake by going bears into Dryads here in this game. 1 to 0 now. Fully transitioned into Fiends and Statues. He's got two destroyers in the air. On paper. I don't care if you're an undead player. I don't care what your opponent does. But Fiends plus Statues has got the potential to beat any army compositions on any race. Including versus Undead Mirror, yeah? So if your micro is insane like 1 to 0 is. <laughs> uh, you'll be winning 
a lot of games and it doesn't matter what your opponent does you can still win oh demon hunter almost falling down now we got the burrow upgrade for the fiends we don't have dust of appearance on the night owls and now this pin was saved there nicely done port lining from kahos naga continues to arrive though dealing a lot of damage but these bears are falling down so quick the destroyers with their magical damage comes in key here now the naga's in trouble Ooh, coil almost i felt like the uh animation was actually starting but i guess the naga went out of range just on time Ooh, Frost Nova Coil. That's the first thing that <laughs> welcomes you. Imagine that, guys. And one to zero. It seems like not bothered anymore. Picking up the ancient Django from this red camp down in the southeast. Oh, the demon now with the coil taken out. And that's the GG. There was nothing else Kaho can do. Thank you all for watching and listening. You know I love you. And I'll catch you on the next one.